the Magic House. It prides itself on creating spaces and experiences that spark beauty, wonder, and joy in children. But those exhibits don't just magically appear. There's a full team dedicated to building them from scratch. And now for the very first time ever, we get to see the new space where they do just that. Today, our Paige Holsey takes us inside the new Exhibit and Project Innovation Center. Vibrant, unique, and innovative creations fill every corner of the Magic House. While giggles and squeals fill the museum here in Kirkwood, it's table saws and hammers that echo down the road at the Exhibit and Project Innovation Center. So we're actually able to tape out and lay out the entire space of our traveling exhibit gallery here to where when we build, we're building it to the same scale that it's going to be set up whenever it's at the museum. Sarah Hinthorne is the Senior Manager of Design at the Magic House. Her big project right now? Bringing to life Alma's Way, an exhibit based on the popular PBS show. So this is the bodega, and then if we follow yep. the map here, the next room yeah. will be the community center. Yeah. But it all starts here. This is really what we start with, our exhibit plans, um, just a 2D drawing of the space. And after we kind of work through the flow of the exhibit, how we think visitors will move through the space, we'll have boma skirts available and, and some drums to the bariles, the large um, barrel drums for bomba dancing that you get to play drums. So then and... you have to think about if there are these big drums, yes. you have to think about how big the drums are yes. and where you're going to set up the drums. And... Exactly. These are pieces that go together to where the kids can make like a house. David Bush is one of the fabricators who turns those plans into reality. Normally I make them completely. Um, I can do the plastic, I can do the wood, I can do all of it. But there's something extra special about the exhibits built right here in Kirkwood. They end up traveling the country, showcased at other children's museums. That means... I have to make it to where it'll all come apart so it can travel, so I can can't go over four foot with any of my panels, so everything is in four foot increments. As you can see, the designers have picked out all the colors, and then it's up to the fabricator team to paint every inch. Today, we're going to help with touch-ups. Alma's Way is just one project underway here. Pieces for the new permanent exhibit Storytime Magic are another. Each project takes 12 to 18 months to complete. But this new space, which the Magic House just acquired at the end of 2023, will allow them to build faster. Beforehand, we had to kind of build in modular sections. Now that we have this new space, we're able to set up the exhibit in its entirety and look at it as one big picture and get a good sense of, okay, are we approaching this in the right way design-wise? Does the space feel comfortable? Does it make sense for what we want to do in the exhibit once it's completed? and they can see how kids interact with it. Are they gonna jump over something we didn't think or grab onto something we didn't think would be exciting for them? Huge game changer. A space to create, changing the game for the design and build team and the children who will experience the magic of their creations. In Kirkwood, Paige Holsey, Great Day St. Louis. What a cool behind the scenes look. And of course, the Magic House is located on South Kirkwood Road in Kirkwood. You can plan your visit to the Children's Museum by visiting its website, magichouse.org. By the way, the Alma's Way Welcome to My Neighborhood exhibit will open at the Magic House in late June. Matt, we've talked about creativity on this yeah, show already. Wow. There we go, showing it another way. A little hive effect. I love these when we kind of pull back the curtain and let everybody know where the real magic happens, like we said. Thank you, Laura. And thanks to Paige, too.